Hey guys, welcome back. So in the beginning of the year, I promised you, well, a number of things, but one of them was a video series on the renovation of my workroom. So here is the first video in that series. I am super excited to share it with you. I um, have come a long way already. It's crazy looking back to see how far that room has come. But I'm also still not there yet, so I'm filming here, not there. I don't want to give anything away. I'm very happy to start getting these edited and out to you because I've been too busy doing the work for a while now to actually get any editing work done on the videos. So very excited to be here, to be beginning this series so that you guys can start to see what went into it. Uh, still not completely done, but I am almost there. And um, yeah, super excited to be sharing it with you now. So check out this video. All right, guys. So here we go. The beginning of another project. And this one is a doozy. So this is my workroom. So the workroom is pretty messy at the moment, but it is undergoing some major changes. Starting with everything that was over here. And pretty messy, but we will get to that. That's next to come down. Everything that was over there is now currently in here for the moment, but that's fine because it is time to get rid of the circus colors. I'm going to paint some normal colors. I'm going to somehow find a way to put a real floor in here. A string of baseboard or two, maybe a little trim molding to finish this off. But yeah, it's been like half finished for a long time. And it was my workroom and it was low, low on the priority list, but that's about to change because my work for myself is about to go top of the list. And I'm very excited. So we need a space that we can actually work in. One that we want to come down to. So I cannot wait to show you guys the difference. For instance, I have one outlet in here. That yellow cord runs across the room. It's powering my laptop, my lights, my light table, my printer, power strip, everything. Everything in this room is run off of that one outlet. So it'd be nice to get a couple more outlets in here. Uh, maybe more than one light. This is just a table lamp. So yeah, there is a lot of space to work with. I believe this room is 10 by 20, which is nice. Uh, of course, it took no time at all to fill it up. But, you know, y'all have that room in the house where anything that doesn't fit gets thrown. That tended to be this room no matter how much I tried to keep that from happening. So I'm excited to get all this crap out. Gonna go through it all. Gonna get rid of most of the stuff that we've been hanging on to just because we forgot it was there. And yeah, I can't wait to show you guys the end result. Um, this was originally the garage before they built the addition onto the house, which is over there. And the in-law apartment that went above it. That's all been changed since then. But so this room is just under 12 feet, 11 inches something by 20 feet. So, I mean, it's a good size space. It has cement floors. I have been working with a very limited amount of resources. Uh, very low frills. Um, somewhat finished ceilings, somewhat finished walls. Uh, this part is cement, so the top, top part is wallboard, which is nice. These walls are all done. This bottom half is cement that's never been covered, but I painted it. And actually it's held up pretty well, which I was surprised by. Uh, there was a lot of musty smell, but when I cleared everything out, I was surprised to find out when my husband cleared most of it out, 
surprised to find that there's no mold here. There is probably mold on like cardboards and things that were over here though. Just because the cement doesn't actually leak, but it does get damp. It's just the nature of cement that is underground. So yeah, we're going to clean that. We're going to seal the cement. I bought some cement patch. Um, decided I'm not going to bother trying to level this floor and do anything fancy. I'm just going to seal the cracks, which is only two. There's like one that goes this way and then one that goes over there. I'm going to seal the cracks and then I'm going to seal the concrete and then lay linoleum down over the whole thing. Um, it comes in a 12 foot wide roll that you can get cut to length, which I think is perfect and pretty affordable and it's very weather resistant and it's very forgiving in the fact that these floors probably are not perfectly flat. Um, and someday if somebody wants to get fancy, they can always come in, lay a subfloor and, and do like a wood floor or even just the imitation wood floor planking, but, um, Right now, I just want a non-cement floor. I'm going to paint these walls. Now, I did, I actually did this. I, I can't lie. This was me. This was all me. Uh, when I did this originally, when I came down here, I forget what color these walls, if they were even painted or if they were just wallboard. But everything was pretty much, you know, concrete, gray. And, you know, there's only also only one window. It does get good light, but there's only one window. This side is, you know, under the back of the house. So I wanted bright colors that would make the space feel cheery and that I would, you know, feel energized working in. And, yeah, it helped. It did that to a certain extent. Uh, I think I outgrew these colors a long time ago. Um... In fact, I don't think I ever loved them as much as I thought I would. Uh, I had a yellow and green curtain up here, which actually toned some of this down a little, but it just made it look even more circusy. So I'm glad that's gone. So I have got a nice, I think it's called uh, silver blue pearl or something, just a nice light gray with a tiny bit of an under blue tone for the walls. I just want it to look bright. Clean. Uh, again, the, the floor is going to get sealed, but then covered in linoleum, which I found, which is a pretty nice, it looks like hardwood, and it's just a gray and bluish gray uh, looking hardwood linoleum that should go nicely with the walls. Uh, the goal would be to have at least two more outlets put in, one over here where I plan to put my desk, and one down this end. Uh, where the stencil cutter is going to go. And anything else I want. I want to put the work table right here in the middle. So obviously it would be a good place to be able to plug things in. I need to get another one of these tables. I would like one over there. One over here. We'll see when everything gets back in what fits. Um, but yeah. And then other than that I would love to put maybe just two strips of baseboard heat. Like one right under the window. And maybe one under the stencil cutter, because that's just on a stand that rolls right along the side. Um, we'll see what makes sense. But, because this room is insulated, so, I mean, it'd be pretty easy to heat. And I usually have a spaced heater down here. And, you know, it works pretty well, especially when the heat presses on in the winter times. That does generate a little bit, a little bit of its own heat. Um, but it would be nice to be able to come in and warm up the room and... Also, a lot of times I would just open this door and make a fire because our wood stove is there. But, you know, I gotta hook up like three fans to try and get some of that to actually blow in here, especially when it's really cold. And most of it wants to go up the stairs. So it would be nice to have an actual dedicated heat source in here. One that I don't have to worry about, you know, leaving on and burning the house down with either. I did have one space heater that was plugged into a surge protector strip, which I would think is a good thing, and I have since learned is definitely not a good thing. You always want them plugged directly into a wall. I can't do that here, obviously. So, yeah, that burnt out pretty quick. And 
Actually, the last one I had, I have to plug in again out there and run a cord in here in order to do it. And that doesn't work either with most of them. So we're going to get some real heat. It's going to be great. Anyways, I just wanted to give you guys a quick look at the before because the one thing my husband was like gung-ho about was emptying this room for me. And I really missed the complete before because believe it or not, this is bare bones. I'm going to show you what was in here before in a minute and you won't believe that it was all in here but so yeah the ceiling I don't know we'll figure that out last I'm probably gonna throw a little bit of trim molding around the edges of this just to finally make that look finished also around that window would be nice but again I'll give you a look from the other side around the window our electrical box. This is where my heat press is now, but this giant table is going to go when we first got it for free, of course. It was, um, it was like, oh, that's great. I can definitely put the heat press on that, but it takes up way more space than it needs to. And there's absolutely no storage underneath this thing. It's just ridiculous how much room this thing takes up. And of course, we're not using it as a drafting table, so. This is going to go on one of these, which is what I always worked on them, but for some reason my husband was afraid it would be too heavy. It is almost 300 pounds, but we never had an issue, so. it's and Actually, I may put it on this desk, which is pretty sturdy. And that's what I think I'm going to do, actually. But yeah, this thing's going to go, so we will have a lot more room. But yeah, I'm excited to get this all completely cleaned out to get this cement finally sealed off. Um, I feel like I can breathe down here a little bit better and get a real floor and uh, some cheery, clean looking walls. <laughs> but yeah, I will uh, keep you guys posted along the way. There is definitely lots to do. So... This is where everything has gone while I'm cleaning out that room. Yeah. It's a lot. So as you can see, I have four of these large metal shelves. And they are all basically full of stuff that has come out of there. This wood pile is not from there. Uh, a lot of this is the air conditioners did not come out of there but their place of normal storage for the winter is currently filled with stuff. Um, we also have some of my daughter's stuff still from college that she hasn't been able to fit anywhere but most of this yeah this is all the fabrics that came out of there. So yeah it's a lot. There is a lot of stuff. Uh, and the good news is my husband moved it all really quick because I'm very excited to get this done because I really want to get to back to work and being serious about doing my work for myself, what I want to be doing. Uh, the bad news is, of course, he didn't go through any of this. And when it all goes back in, I'm going to have to do that. I'm going to have to go through every single bit of this and figure out what's what, what I still need, what I still want, what's going to go, but it's going to feel pretty good to be honest. So I'm excited about it. So there it is guys, the very first video in my workroom reno series. I hope that you enjoyed it. Uh, it's pretty chaotic in this one because that's what it looked like to begin with, which is why I needed the renovation so bad. So I apologize for the state of the room in these videos, but it can only get better, and it definitely does. I have a small handful of things left that need to be done that are going to get done now, and then a small handful of things that are left that are going to kind of get done as I go. Um, the room is workable right now, even though it is not fully, you know, organized or completely set up. It is workable, so I'm kind of back in there doing some work, but I'm not spending as much time in there as I want to be yet because I'm still trying to get everything finished. Stay tuned for the before and after video because it is pretty incredible. 
Um, but yeah, you'll get to see a lot more of the videos that go into the work along the way. So I hope that you will enjoy the series and that you will check back for the next one. Because uh, I'm really excited to share them with you and to share with you the end product. So definitely stay tuned for that. Bye guys!